All right, so we have a video here from Saffron Man, and he's coming out of the gate pretty hard. Uh, the, the video is called At Nub Raids, Five Days to Explain Yourself. I have not seen the video yet. Uh, I have spoken with Saffron Man a little bit behind the scenes. We talked a little bit about what was going on. I know that he's very upset, uh, and I knew that he was going to make a video somewhere along these lines. And, uh, and, and he sent it over to me and is interested in my reaction to it. So we're going to watch it together. It's 25 minutes. I may not do the whole thing here. We may watch a bit of it, and then I might send you guys over to watch the rest of it on his channel uh, to get the full scoop. But I figure we'll 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 check it out a little bit and just see kind of what's going on and see um, and see what Saffron Man has to say about it. Because while this is a part of this is like, ooh, there's drama and it's it's fun or whatever. This is a big deal. We're talking about something that Saffron Man spent a lot of time and money and effort uh, making a thing for the community. And now Plarium has kind of come in and and just yoinked it. You know what I mean? And, and yes, yeah, Saffron Man isn't really playing Raid anymore and he's not really making Raid content, but there's still just an, as, for me, there's just an element here of like, it's just not your thing. Like, you know, you wouldn't be doing this. This, this was not your idea. At least acknowledge this was not your idea. You know, I, I said, uh, I think I said it in stream. It's like, it's, it'd be like if they started dropping boardroom skit meetings or, or, you know what I mean? Or, or reps under the guise of a character about RNG. Like it, it's not your idea. You can't just take it. And again, it's an award show. Award shows are not like a unique thing, but we all know this wouldn't be happening if it hadn't happened before. And the reason that it happened before is because of the of Saffron Man putting in all the, the effort to make it happen. So uh, that I, I understand why he's so upset about this. You know what I mean? I, I, I get I get why this would be such a serious thing for him. Ow, fingers bleeding. I don't know why. But let's uh, let's let's jump on in here and see. Just see what we got going on here. I was out. I was gone. I was done. I had done everything that I hair's grown back out within the raid community. And I took time off and I'm literally building up to do something completely different in a different community for a different game on a different social network, uh, a different streaming platform. I, I was absolutely done with Raid Shadow Legends. I was proud of mine and my team's efforts. I was proud of how we treated everyone, um, how we went about our business. Uh, I was proud of the quality of content and entertainment that we were putting on for absolutely everyone in some of the worst times in our living history during the lockdown. We were all locked inside. Yeah, I guess I didn't even think about the fact that it was during COVID, huh? I think some of my skits that I've been going back and looking over, I guess, I guess we're around this time. But yeah. With nothing to do. And I was like, do you want, let's do an award show. And so we spent months and months of each year trying to bring people from all around the world together from russia ukraine australia africa uh china uh, and all across them literally all over the this world this has nothing to do with what he's talking about is he using a green screen and an auto green screen <laughs> i feel like i can see through the b the brim of his headphones sometimes that oh. there's an actual green screen behind him but the way that it's it's green screening out his background looks like he's using like a like one of those ai green screens you know what i mean was trying to bring people together under one roof for the raid community and its content creators. Um, and I said, I'm very proud. And I was out. Now, this has come along. Now, at first glance, it, it, this isn't that bad. If it was under any other circumstances, I'll be like, that's great. That's awesome. It's what the community and its content creators deserve. A, a night where they can all shine. Right? But unfortunately, there's more than meets the eye here. This now, is what I'm interested to hear. Talk the details. About Polarium as much in this video, other than this word, community. Now, let me tell you what Polarium think about community. OK, 
Okay. So, I've obviously done this show before. Hell, Hades. God, I miss that guy. Always mm. looked good in attacks. But yeah, I, this this was it. This was I think this was our first show. This is a little summary of what was going on. You can see chat. Shout out to you, boy, on the on the boards twice. But let's talk about <laughs> Polarium and community. Now, the first show, they 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 are so hard to work with. Even the smallest thing. Cirilla was a fucking pain in the ass. The whole of Polarium were a pain in the ass. And do you he apparently has some feelings about Cirilla. I've always had good experiences with Cirilla, and almost exclusively good experiences with Banana. Um, no, no awful experiences with Banana, but uh, again, uh, different people have different experiences with these people. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not there, so. I, but, but I know that he has some feelings. But it literally, about after Cirilla. months of negotiating went down to the final day before the show went live, before they finally caved. And said, yeah, well, literally the final day. I remember right? this. But they said Darth Microtransaction can't join. Shut out, Darth. You can't be involved. I said, fuck off. See, that's... Part and that's... I mentioned this too. Like, he, he tried to have them be involved. And the first thing they wanted to do when they got involved was start calling shots. Start excluding people. Start telling him what he can and can't say. Start telling him what bits he can and can't do. It's like, no, no, no. It's not your idea. I'm not handing over the rights of the show to you. I'm asking if you want to be a part of it. Get some good press. Give some gems to the players. Act like you give a shit about what everybody's doing. But no, the first thing they wanted to do when they get involved was say Darth can't be a part of it. It's not your show, man. That's crazy that you think you would get to do that. That's so crazy the community he's in my show it's not your show i'm calling the shots you don't have to join in you don't have to promote but i'm doing this show with the raid community because that's what they deserve they said no darth microtransaction i went all right wink wink no problem wink wink nudge nudge <laughs> wink wink right? i said oh, fine darth's not in it not happening so what we ended up doing um well the first thing that happened was best thumbnail. <laughs> Chosen had a thumbnail of Darth Microtransaction yeah. on his thumbnail, and it got the best thumbnail award. So by pure coincidence, Chosen won that, but it was a picture of Darth. Already, it was great. I was like, oh, just the stars aligned, <laughs> right? And I'm sure people at Polaric were pissed. But I was just so happy that that won, right? Anyway, I mean, it was a stat, but I was, I was great. But I didn't know that was happening. So what I decided to do, I said, I tried to get a bunch of um, videos behind the scenes of people saying thank you, this, that, and the other. And I was like, Darth, I want to do something different. I want to do something crazy. This is what we ended up doing. I just want to pay, uh, play you this clip. It might be a couple of minutes, but I just want to play you this clip Please feel free to, to keep an eye on the, on the chat. Uh, we've got Mr. MIA there. A the whole bunch of people that you all recognize up in the chat, right? So I'm just going to play the final couple of minutes. Every single one of these people and content creators... I don't remember what this was, ...deserve actually. a shout-out. That's yeah. the whole, This whole idea for tonight is to get as many people a shout-out as possible. Um, Maze, Second Star, Right, J Giggs, Deadwood. It doesn't matter. Everyone deserves a shout-out. And... Um, I, I hope that everyone's enjoyed themselves and I hope everyone's enjoyed the trophies and I hope everyone enjoys the gems they're going to get. And um, I think we're pretty much good to go. I, I think, um, I think, I think there's just one more thing that, um, mate, something's happening. Uh, What's going on? Uh, what was this? Uh, not sure. No. <laughs> Why don't I remember this? <laughs> That's so dumb, dude. Listen, mortals, I command you to have the best holiday you've ever had. 
I also command you to be tasty. Pathetic little creatures trapped and stuck in your one dimension, unable to break free. Fine, I will bless you with good RNG this year in your presence. You're welcome. <coughs> So, we basically made Darth... I want to jump ahead a little bit. shout out as much as we could, okay? And I just, while I'm talking, I want you to pay attention to the amount of names that are wrong. Because I want to hear... About Plymouth, but this isn't just for this video. I want to I want to hear about I'm cooking Nubs another video specifically. I want to hear what the title of the video is about. So, this isn't me going on outright attack on everyone. This is just me using, preparing for the future right back to the community so again a whole bunch of names there you watch there's literally everyone is on that list i'm kind of in the way of mad kappa sorry about that mad kappa now i was going to do a third oh, we did two we did two years the second year was an absolute nightmare because of plarium i'll go into another video we're talking about nub raids now, why am I pissed? Why am I coming out of semi-retirement um, to be talking about another race? Well, this is it. Uh, to kind of give you some context, though, we're just going to have a little look at our man, Jay Giggs. Uh, sorry, Jay Giggs, that's literally the first frame. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's all good. Uh, maybe, maybe you can get a different... No, that's worse. No. It's, it's all good. It's <laughs> all good. good. Right, so there we go. Now, I... Jay Giggs has made a video. Please go and check out Jay Giggs' video. He puts a smile on my face. I've had the worst weekend ever. That Jay Giggs somehow made me laugh, even though on this, I love it. It's great. That's good to hear. Now, I've obviously gone through his comments, and I've seen a couple of them, and I just want to address a couple of them before we talk about um, uh, Nub, right? Um, so, Mad Kappa is here. Okay, love Mad Kappa. Can't say a bad word again. Oh, I haven't him. seen that yet. I, um, I haven't looked at the comments on that video yet. I am usually with you on this. But I have to say, I disagree. Saf did a great job, and every year I offered my support and time and effort wherever he could, but Saf stopped doing it. Uh, he started a uh, plan last year and just decided not worth the time. So either we have awards again or someone picks up the slack. If they tried to do it over the top of Saf, that would be fucked. Now, the execution of this might tell a different story. I know there is a favourite CC um, bias here, which is frustrating in the old awards and will be worse here, but it is what it is. I'll say I'll, I'll I'll say I I agree, I agree, I get I get the sentiment, but there's something that just seems really sour to me about Plarium doing this. I I think I think if another creator had done it, even I don't think I would feel the same way. But there's something about Plarium doing it where like, and again, it's I want to be careful not to like speculate and say things that aren't provable. But I, I think it's fairly, fairly clear that Plarium doesn't actually give a shit about the community. You know what I mean? If, if it's not, like, unless they're charging t tickets, unless they're charging admission to this, it just seems really weird that all of a sudden they would be, like, arms around the community. Like, let's do this big thing for you and, and like... It just, it's weird. It, it just feels sour because it's Plarium. And it just seems like so much of what they do is laced with motive or, or in, you know what I mean? It just feels sour is the best word for some reason that I can come up with for it. And to like not even acknowledge the fact that they were so difficult about it in the past. You know what I mean? The fact that they were so difficult about it in the past. And now they've just kind of like lifted it. Is like, and they teased it as a big announcement, and they like it's this thing they've created. I, I, it just feels like it's being presented like it's this thing that they they created that hasn't already existed because of the work of someone else in the community that they never really acknowledged. You, you know what I'm saying? Like it. That's what makes it feel so weird to me. It's not that there's an award show. It's that Plarium's doing it the way they're doing it. I just really, really rubs me the wrong way. Um, so I, I, I agree with you, Mad Capper, in the sense that, like, yes, he stopped doing it. And he doesn't own award shows. And that doesn't mean we should never have an award show. 
I just don't, it just feels weird that Plarium is the one doing it and they're doing it the way they're doing it. I just don't like that. It just really rubs me the well, wrong way. Cab is absolutely right, but he doesn't have all the information. So let me kind of break that down. I did start to do a third year, but it's, there was just so much backlash from the you know top content creator. That, that was the one thing I wish I could have done better. But there, it's just out of my... When you put something like that to a public vote, and that's what it was, it was basically the yeah. content creators with the biggest communities basically got the awards. But that was... That's, and that's the tricky thing about something like this, um, is that, like, Hell, Hades, and Ash were just going to win most of the awards. You know what I mean? And it's it's not it, it's not any through any fault of their own. And it made Hell, Hades visibly uncomfortable. As the show went on, he did not like that. And it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Like, I don't think any of us were really been, a, been out of shape about it. Um, but that is the way to go. And I think there were some people in the community that were pretty been out of shape about it. Um, but like, we all kind of knew anyway. Uh, everybody that wasn't Hell Hades or Ash kind of knew going in. And I imagine Hell Hades and Ash knew to a degree. You know what I'm saying? But there's not much they can do about it. Um, it's just the nature of the beast. But it, I, I, there there was, like he's saying, there was some backlash oh, about it. God. I don't know about backlash from creators specifically. Maybe he got some of that. Um, but I think it was just like community in general. There were people who were really upset. I, I for, for weeks after in my stream, people would come in and talk about uh, it being rigged or how I got ripped off in certain categories. And it's like, it wasn't rigged. <laughs> I know it wasn't rigged. Um, it's just the nature of the beast. They have exponentially more viewers. So that's just the way it was going to go. Um, I hope no, none of the creators gave him shit about it. The actual voting was out of my ha Everything else I was in control of, except for the voting. And that's what people were complaining about. And that's not really anything I can do about that, right? So that's fine. I'll take it on the chin. It's all good. Um, and not worth the time. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't worth the time because playing always having a go it was you know it wasn't worth it was stressful and it didn't really pay off the way that i hoped to right i'm a small content creator i barely got a couple of thousand subs it didn't really work out and that's fine i'm still very proud of what we've done right but but this is it this is the kicker the last thing i said uh, when i was planning the third show i went to nub kex this is and what I'm, I'm going to show you this because one, I don't care anymore about privacy. He's he's gone above and beyond. Okay, so this is I blocked him, so that's why you're not going to see his messages now. I blocked him. Um, I called him, you absolute cheeky backstabbing bastard. Fuck you. Blocked. Right. I'm angry. I was very angry, but when I was trying to get him involved for the third show. I gave him all the plans and ideas that we had for it. Asked Deadwood. We were going to make a literal Raids of Our Lives TV show, right? And here are all the content creators and categories that we use for previous shows. And literally, we have the clips and the intro. Let me mute that real quick. Uh, we had the intro of what we we're going to do. I showed him everything, right? But it didn't happen. That's fine. It didn't happen. But what did happen is that he's taken that information and he's then gone to Polarium for this. Now, one of two things has happened here. Either Nub has... It feels weird calling him... It feels like a euphemism for a little... Anyway, Nub. Anyway, Nub. <laughs> um, he's either brown-nosed his way all the way through Cirilla's ass in the content creator program and made this happen with my information. Right? Or Cirilla and Polarium have literally said, oh yeah, we've got this really good idea. Let's go and do this. Um, and they asked uh, Ash. He said no. They asked Hell Hades. He said no. They asked. They must have asked loads of people and either they said no for whatever reason and Nub was on like sixth on the list and he's like yeah I'll do that yeah why not 
So, yeah, he's either taken my information from what I gave him and tried to make it for himself, or he's on he's very low on a list and people have denied it and whatever. Okay. So I think that's that's a that's a that's a lot. That's a pretty heavy accusation without really knowing. Um you know what I mean? I don't know if there's any evidence that Nub took this information to Plarium and like presented it as his own to get them to do this. I also don't think Plarium would do something this big at someone else's suggestion. So I think this was Plarium's idea. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> it was Saffron Man's idea. I think Plarium decided to take the idea and make a thing out of it. As far as whether or not they asked other creators and other creators said no, I would speculate that if they ask, I, I, I could guess who I think would say no for the same reasons that I feel weird about it, right? Uh, I, I, I would think if they asked Hell Hades, he probably would have said no. Um, I think he would have said no for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons being his involvement in the prior award shows with Saffron Man, right? That would just be kind of a strange thing to agree to do without Saffron Man at this point. So I, I would think Hell Hades would have said no. I could guess who else would m might, may have said no. Um, I don't know. I mean, Nub has been on a pretty steady upward trajectory for as long as I've been seeing his videos. I've never really seen his growth slow down. He's a pretty, he's a pretty relevant dude in the community. It's not unthinkable that they just decided to ask him first. You know what I mean? He's very likable. Uh, he's very charismatic. He he makes very helpful content. I've always said um, his vibe and the way he presents his information is is has been one of my favorite as far as instructional guides in the raid community for a while. So it, it's not unthinkable to me that they thought, yeah, he would be a good face for this. He's he, again, he's very likable, um, generally pretty positive about what's going on in the game. Uh, I, I could see why they would want him to do this. I've also been trying to think about the timeline. Of when Nub came around, as compared to when the award shows was, were, were, were happening, because I feel like it was after. So I would understand why Nub Kex wouldn't have, I guess, the same attachment to it and the same awareness of like what it is versus what Plarium's doing now and why it might be strange for him to be involved. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think he was as around for the second, even the second show. It's hard to remember. I'm real bad at remembering time frames like that, but I don't think he was around. So I think perhaps from Plarium's perspective, perspective, that might be another reason they thought he was a good candidate because he wasn't one of the creators that was around or heavily involved in the last one. So it wouldn't be as, as weird for him to be involved as it would for someone like Hell Hades to some people to be involved. Um, so th this, this could very well be incorrect this could this could be misguided and i and again i don't know the the depth of their conversation he we didn't get to see nub's messages and what was shared i don't i don't know the extent of the conversation uh, i don't you know i don't know if nub kex was like no i'm not interested and now he's interested i don't know <laughs> you know what i mean um so it's real hard to make a call here uh, i have no reason to believe and I have no real interaction with Nubkex, but I have no reason to believe he would deliberately do something that's shady like this. That doesn't mean he wouldn't, to be clear. It just means I have no reason to believe that that's what's going on. And I think Saffron Man is very angry, understandably so. And, uh, and again, I don't know the, the extent of their conversation. Maybe there were things that said in that conversation that make Saffron Man believe that this is the case, and he's got good reason to believe it. But it's hard for me to really make a call on that um, because, again, I have no reason to have suspicions about Nub. I have no reason to have any problems with Nub. I, I have really had nothing but good things to say about him. And what limited exposure we've had to ourselves in content creator chats and stuff has always been fine. Uh, so so that's a that's a it's tough. 
it's tough, right? I get it. I know, I know that you're angry and I know you, you, you want something tangible to be angry at. I, I just, I, it's hard without all of the information. And I guess, I mean, I think even Saf doesn't have all of the information here because we don't know what, what the exchange was between Nubkex and Plarium. So that's tough. Um, that's tough. I think I would have liked to have, I would be interested in, a, in an exchange between Saffron Man and Nubkex without the last message Saffron Man sent to him. I would, <laughs> I would be much more interested in seeing Saffron Man going, hey, what the hell? And then them talking about it and perhaps coming to some sort of understanding uh, where where maybe Plarium is the is the only bad guy or maybe Plarium's not even the bad guy. You know what I mean? Maybe that, too. Um, may, maybe maybe they're not the bad guy. You know, to, to, to Mad Capper's point, Saffron Man did move on. He did stop doing it. Does that mean we should never get another award show? No. Does that mean this still doesn't feel very weird? Does that mean that my knee jerk to seeing it isn't weird? No, it's weird because there's something weird about it. You know what I mean? Look, there's a, there's a reason I threw it out in the stream when someone said, what do you think the big thing is that, that Plarium's teasing? There's a reason that in trying to pull out an obnoxious thing to be funny, I said, maybe they're stealing the raid awards from Saffron Man. There's a reason that's what came out of me because it is weird. So. I don't know. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to, to make a call like that. I think I don't I, like like he said, either one of two things happened. I think there's more options here. Um, and I think it's probably easier for me to say that because I'm sitting outside of it. I'm not I'm not directly affected by this. No one. I don't feel like anyone stole anything from me here. I don't feel like anyone stole anything from me that I worked so hard on for so long. So. Um, I I understand why he feels the way that he feels. And and I hope. I guess I would hope that he will unblock Nub and that they can have a discussion about it. And and I, I, I feel like if they have a discussion about it, they'll probably come to some sort of understanding. You know what I mean? Um, and again, you never really know who anyone is. If there's if there's one thing I've learned in my 37 years, it's that you really never know who anyone is. Um, you know, if, if you think, if you think someone won't do something, if you think there's someone that, that would never do this, they will, they probably will. <laughs> they definitely are capable of it. So, um, again, while I, I have no reason to suspect that Nubkex did anything shady here, I can't put it past anyone anymore to do anything shady. So I don't know. I don't know. I have no feelings about it either way, I guess. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, we'll go a little bit longer. I don't want this video to be crazy long. We'll go a little bit longer. I do want to see if he says anything else that, that is like informative about why he feels what, what he feels about Nubkex currently. But I, I, we'll, we'll end it soon, and then you guys can go catch the rest of it on his channel. Uh, but let's, let's see. So, I am really pissed about that. If nothing else, I'm pissed that he's taken my information and not even got in touch with me. And yet he's flown to Poland to fucking shoot this. Right? And I'm finding out that this is all of our style. The tux, the slick back hair, the gold, the show. This and again, that's just award show garb. That's, again, like this is all... If you're doing an award show like the Oscars or whatever, this is what it would look like. So um, now if Nubs was wearing a sparkly gold jacket. Yeah. All right. All right. That's a little bit much, but just a straight up tux, you know, that's standard garb for something like this. So again, I think Saffron Man is very angry. And I think. Again, I think he I think he needs someone to be angry at and it's Nubkex right now. I, we don't we don't know. Unless he knows something we don't know. Nubkex, we don't know that Nubkex ripped off this information and went to Plarium with it. Right? We don't know that that happened. We don't know how Nubkex ended up in this position. So it's really hard to make those kind of claims. 
You know this what I mean? This is what I work so hard for with my team and my community. And you think you're going to be able to just walk away and take my show and turn it into your own? Fuck off. I'm not having it. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm back. Because I'm not having it. I, I'm not standing for this. Polarium have got away with so much. I've given Polarium so many ideas about Arbiter Chases and Shard events and birthday anniversary. I've given them so CVC. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, That's, he has. I've, I've seen it happen in the content creator chat. So um, I'll, I'll stop the video here for the sake of this video. And then I'll let you guys go watch the end of it because because uh, I think you should go watch the rest of it on his channel. Um, and yeah, you know, I think this was a little bit of a slower paced reaction video, but I think, but for the nature of what this is, you know, it was kind of unavoidable. Uh, I, I, again, I understand. I, I, I hate that this is happening. I, I told when I, when I spoke to Saffron Man about it, I told him like, I'm sorry this is happening. I know that this has to suck. Um, and if it doesn't feel like a big deal to you, that's fine. But I think that's just a product of not understanding how much work he really put into this both years um, for really very little return. It, it probably probably negative return. He, he has currently twenty nine hundred subscribers on his YouTube channel, so it didn't blow up. He didn't make a bunch of money. Um, you know what I mean? It, 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 the award shows ended and then it was back to life as normal until a few months later when it was time to start prepping for the next award show. So it's not like he got a lot of gain out of this beyond the fulfillment of doing it and the recognition from the community for doing it. So again, if it feels like it, if it feels like this shouldn't be a big deal, if you think, he, if you think it's an overreaction, I think that that just is, I think you just don't understand how much he, he really put into this, how much work, how little he slept, how much work he put into making these things happen. Um, for again, really nothing for his own gain. Um, you know, I, I get it. I get why he's upset. I get why he's upset. I hope that he'll take a breath. I hope that he'll take a breath. I hope that he'll vent. You know, I told him if he wants to hit me up and vent, go for it. But I do hope that he'll reach out to Nub or that he'll unblock Nub so Nub can reach out to him and they can talk about it. Because I really think if they talk about it, they'll come to an understanding and figure out what, what really is the case. Uh, how it all happened, and I, I, it's probably not as sinister as as maybe Saffron Man feels like it is, at least as far as Nubkex is concerned. Um, I do still feel very weird about Plarium doing it and the way they went about doing it, all things considered. And again, I, I still agree, even even with those feelings, I agree with what Bad Cap is saying. Saffron Man moved on; it's not his thing. If they did it on top of him, yes. If if Saffron Man was doing awards and they did one on top, absolutely. So there's there's definitely some merit to what Matt Capper's saying there. You moved on, it's not your thing anymore. But it just feels it just feels weird for Plarium to do something like this on such a grand scale when there's no indication that they give a shit about any of it. You know what I'm saying? I think they saw the success that someone like Saffron Man could have doing it as far as making the event successful and think this could be really big for us. This could be a good PR thing. I don't know what it is. And if it ends up being a net positive for the players, fine. Great. Then I guess everybody wins. But I do just feel icky. I do just feel a little icky about it still. So um, longer, longer video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to watch the rest of his video. And I reckon I'll probably address it at some point, uh, maybe in stream. I've been streaming right again. Uh, I'll probably chat about it in a free to succeed in the next episode. I don't know when it'll come up again, but I'm going to finish the video as soon as I stop recording here. Uh, I'll be interested to know what you guys think about it all. Because um, it's a weird situation. It's a weird situation, man. Um, so, yeah, I guess I guess I guess we'll see how it plays out. I, I just have to wish everybody that's involved well at this point. I really hope Saffron Man and Nubkex can sort it out. I really, I really hope that they'll talk. I really think if they talk, there's an understanding to be had here that that does not end with um, 
a you know a grudge or a rivalry of some sort. I really think that this is probably pretty easily sorted out if they'll talk. So that's that's my big takeaway from it currently. I'm gonna watch the rest of the video. Let me know what you guys think about it all, and I'll see you soon.